Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. In this video, I am trying to explain how we can group and sort our activities or data in Primera P6 using the filters command. So let us see what is what is filters. So filters are defined as very useful and handy tool in Primera P6 which are using to highlight or display a specific or certain portion of the schedule, their activities and data which are meeting with a certain criteria. This is, it is very useful in the command, especially for the large project containing thousands of activities. Because in this case, we cannot show all the activities at the same time in the program, and it is we cannot show all the activities on a single or two pages or pages to make to show on the to show to the management. So in this case, we can use filter command to to highlight or mention specific data or activities or regarding any deliverables. So when we install the P6, if the P6 came with several built-in or preset, preset filter which are using, uh, which are ready to use. Additionally, it provides the facility to the user that they can recreate project specific or user specific filters uh, which will help in their work. So let us see how we how we can access filters in Primera P6. So to access the filters, we have to open the program and go in the view menu. In the view menu, there's one option which is filter by or alternatively, we can click on the filter icon on the main menu bar. So when we click on the filter icon bar, uh, icon, the filter dialog box will be open and we can define or uh, either we can use a predefined filter or we can create our own. So let's see how we can do in Primera P6. Now I open one of my old projects. This is program is related to some high light building in containing two basement ground and 15 floors and it is already cost and resource are assigned to the program. So if you want to make this filter and uh, you, you want to use filter this uh, for this program, uh, you have to go in the view menu and the view you can select the filter by or alternatively we can select the uh, filter by icon on the main menu bar it will open the filter dialog box so in the filter dialog box you can see there's a default one is global and one is a user defined user defined is the one which we are creating uh, for our uh, our use global is the one which you can transfer with the projects to other users and default is one which came with the installation of the software so in this software in the which, which came the filters which came with the program is like complete for the completed activities Critical activity, critical activities having a constraint in progress activities, longest path. So, for example, for this project, I have to see the longest path. So I just click on the longest path. So once I click this longest path, you can see here this all activities checkbox will be removed and it is come here. So it will show that it will show only the critical path activities. So if you click it here, you can see that all the activities having the zero float will be shown here. So all activities having the zero float or the critical path. So if uh, the, what is happened now, the program showing all the activities having the uh, having the total having the critical part, uh, but and uh, this is not shown all the activities. So only the activities will be reduced. But if you want to highlight only the activities, just click on the all activities again, apply, and then click again longest path. And here the second option on the bottom is there. When applying the selected uh, filter. Uh, you have two options replace the activities shown in the current layout or highlight activity in the current layout which match the criteria. So, for example, we just want to highlight, we just click here, highlight, and click apply. It will highlight, or highlight all the activities which is meeting our criteria. See, this all activities, like for example, this is the uh, column and structure work is the critical path, but the staircases and dismantle of the uh, framework is not on the critical path. So it is only showing the highlight the activities. So similarly, if you go here and uh, you, you can create your own filter also. So I just go here and click up new and it will it will open the new filter dialog box. Just give any name which is easy for you to remember. And from here you can select that. Uh, for example, we want to see the total uh, all the activities which are near critical. So we say total float is within the range of 10 and 20 days. And then go and apply. It will show the all activities which is which having the float of 10 and 20 days. So this is like critical part. But if you want to see which activities or the structure in the critical part, then just go again in the filter and select the layout. You just make it and make modify. And then you can add one more criteria that GM004 GM division is equal to. Right. 
equal to this is super superstructure okay so we i already i already defined one actually code which is uh, uh, name is type and there is one option superstructure so i just select this one and if you want to see the all activities which are having the float of 10 and 30 days and which is on the superstructure so you have to select here this you have all of the following means all the activities will be shown which is uh, having the which are meeting this both criteria so here you can see here they show and here but if you want to show the all activities which are either uh, or having a total float of between 10 or 20 or on the superstructure so it will you just click this one and you have any when you select any so it will make here it will change or it means that any of the filter will be meet that it will be shown on the activities uh, but if you want to meet all the criteria then just you have to click this one and select all of the following then when you select all of the following then this or, or will be changed to end so in this case all the activities will be shown on the critical part or longest part which is having on the in the layout which is having the float of 10 and or 20 days or between 10 and 20 days and which are on the superstructure so when you click ok you can click apply and it will show all the activities which is on the superstructure so if you click it minus and then just open it you can see here that it will show for the superstructure only and if you go again in this filter and then just uh, remove this one and apply you can see that now we have all the filters for example we have uh, engineering construction in the construction you have super sub um, in internal tasks for finishing mep facade all the shown but if you want to show only the critical activities which is on the superstructure so you go again and define this another filter like type equals to superstructure like similarly you can select the finishing items you just finishing and it will show you the all the finishing tasks so the finishing task is 10 and 14 floor or 9 10 and 14 floor are coming on the critical part for the uh, this project similarly if you want to uh, show the some icon uh, or wbs uh, some filter using for wbs so just go again here and just click here modify before applying modify just click all activities apply and then modify this filter and you can see that our WBS, you want to see all, all the first switch activities. So you say WBS contains or is equal to first fix. So all the activity will be shown in the MP for the first fix. WBS name contains first fix so it will show all the activities for that first fix so press control plus button it will open all so you can see the first fix of electrical works uh, hvac firefighting so if you go on the uh, upper floor you will find uh, electrical hvac plumbing and firefighting so it will show all the first fix activities for this uh, project so really if you want to go for the resources here you see the resources are assigned and for all for uh, any activities like for example third floor it is containing so many uh, uh, layouts for uh, resources like electric technician car concrete carpenter steel fixer this all are defined if you want to see only the electrical technician just go in the filter again and they say resource id name is equal to just click here from here you can select here filter by current project resources and then select this select the resource you want to see so for example if i want to see the electric technician i just click electric technician and click apply it will show you only the electrical technician you can see here if you press control plus button it will open and you can see all the electric technician uh, assigned to the activities will be shown this is related to electrical technician in this case you can uh, you can uh, specify or define only the electrical technician or you can similarly you can define the other resources also in the same way so you see that uh, filter is a very useful command to show or analyze a specific portion of your schedule or data of your schedule and you can apply several criteria at the same time and you, if you want to apply all the criteria at the same time you have to select all of the following and then it will be and the, it will be the, our primary will be used that criteria a and b will be applied for example if there you apply two criteria or if you want any of the criteria then you say uh, uh, any of the following there it will be criteria a or b so any one of the meet any one of meet with the criteria will be shown in the layout 
Similarly, you can use the WBS name, WBS path to show or highlight some specific activities related to some WBS. And similarly, we can highlight or we can filter the, our activities related to our resource assignment also. So I hope this video is somehow useful for our planning engineers and it will, it will help them in their daily routine work. And if you like it, please like, share and subscribe this channel and share with your friend. See you again in another useful video. Till that time, thank you very much again for your time. See you again. Take care and bye-bye.